Jews for Jesus. Jews for Jesus. Jews for Jesus have mounted their biggest recruitment drive in the city since the group was founded 33 years ago. Jews for Jesus accepts Jesus Christ as their savior, and chances are you're seeing a lot more of them than you ever have before. They've actually sent 200 missionaries to our city for July, and they've launched an all-out media blitz. If it seems like they're everywhere, it's because they are. I was born and raised in Israel, and I'm 100% I'm Jewish and 100% Christian. The question that I get asked most is how can you be Jewish and believe in Jesus? And the truth is, in my opinion, you really can't be Jewish without believing in Jesus. Obviously that causes a lot of problems with the rest of the Jewish world because we're kind of saying that we're authentic Judaism and they're not. To say that you are more Jewish by being Christian, I'm sorry, that's offensive. What we don't like is apathy and we're certainly not getting that from New York. I used to have my kids spit on, cursed out in Yiddish. One day she was actually punched. A man came up behind her, punched her hard in her back, and ran. And these are supposed to be men of God. We took it pretty good, uh, only because we understood why they felt that way. You know, we had all felt that way at one time. You know, that this was an offensive idea that Yeshua could be, have anything to do with being the true Messiah. Jews for Jesus is an organization based on the West Coast of the United States that conducts campaigns, distribution of literature, and visitation in cities throughout the world. Whereas Messianic Judaism is a worldwide spontaneous movement having resulted in the creation of synagogues, Jewish people and non-Jewish people who share a commitment to biblical Judaism and to the reality that Yeshua or Jesus of Nazareth is the promised suffering Jewish Messiah. When we were believers 30-something years ago, it was the worst panic in a Jewish family. My brother basically disowned my sister and myself. It has been an amazing experience of rejection and acceptance on all kinds of levels, being misunderstood by Christians, being misunderstood by the Jewish community. A lot of times we just, we, we feel like we're orphans. We're really, we're part of these two communities, but neither one of them wants anything to do with us. And we kind of have to build our own community and hope that they'll understand us at some point.